écouter le discours euh, en anglais et mon collègue Jessica, euh, elle va distribuer une version en français euh, un peu euh, plus tard. Euh, mais juste pour euh, vous donner une idée euh, de ce discours, euh, d'abord, je, je dois reconnaître le dynamisme de chambre de commerce de ce pays. Euh, moi, je suis témoin de ça depuis mon arrivée. Euh, C'est vraiment euh, quelque chose euh, promoteur euh, de, de l'avenir de, de ce pays. Euh, la, euh, la, vision, euh, la, la vision Djibouti 2035, euh, ça exige euh, euh, le secteur privé dynamique. Et le secteur privé est représenté par la Chambre, euh, qui est très dynamique. Tout ce qu'ils ont accompli... Ah, oui. J'ai beaucoup de respect. Ouais. Euh, et euh, après le discours, je vais inviter euh, quelques représentatifs de notre euh, secteur privé euh, ici à Djibouti. Euh, euh, J'ai déjà vu quelques-uns ici. Je vais les inviter euh, euh, d'y venir. Euh, moi, je ne suis euh, pas du tout satisfait avec euh, la représentation des entreprises américaines euh, à Djibouti. Et euh, compte sur moi euh, de faire euh, tout ce que je peux euh, pour encourager euh, nos entreprises d'y venir. Parce qu'il y a des opportunités ici, euh, c'est un pays qui bouge dans le bon sens. Et avec ça, euh, je peux euh, attirer encore euh, de, de, de nos entreprises de faire un effort et de contribuer au développement de ce pays. So I am happy to be here today to celebrate the United States of America's long and fruitful friendship with Djibouti. Our partnership with Djibouti began on the day of your independence, June 27, 1977, when President Jimmy Carter officially recognized the Republic of Djibouti as a proud new member of the international community. Since then, Our relationship has grown stronger and proliferated in the economic, security, and cultural spheres. Each year, the U.S. government contributes $210 million to the Djiboutian economy. The, this significant sum represents 10% of Djibouti's gross domestic product. The American government is one of the largest employers of Djiboutians. Now, American businesses are taking a closer look at this dynamic country, rapidly making its way up the ease of doing business rankings of the World Bank. The U.S. Congress recently passed legislation called the BUILD Act, which uh, will provide funding and support for American companies working in markets like Djibouti. American companies operating outside the United States are held to a very high standard. They follow American anti-corruption laws and tend to hire locally to the greatest extent possible. The United States recognizes the importance of innovation and entrepreneurship, two values that have been woven into the fabric of our country since its founding. We are promoting these ideals in Djibouti through the $25 million Workforce Development Program administered by USAID. Can you stand, Rubia? <laughs> Which is improving uh, Djibouti's technical and vocational education and strengthening job placement services. I was pleased to visit, uh, we, we both visited, the Technical High School of Tajura, where we toured classrooms and saw students learning the technical skills that employers most need in their workforce. Last week, I, inaug I inaugurated the American Corner, generously hosted by the Chamber of Commerce. Which will be open to the public in January. This American Corner will provide Jabushans with some of the tools they need to improve job skills, create business plans, learn English, and write uh, CVs. Our webinars, online courses, and coding workshops will bring world-class educational opportunities to Djiboutians. English discussion groups and our library will provide additional resources to Djiboutians who want to improve their English. I should add here 
Uh, there are quite a number of our American military service members based at Camp Lemonnier who participate in these English discussion groups. Uh, so many Jabushan young people studying English, they tell me they get the theory and they need the practice. And so uh, our uh, American military service members are helping with uh, that practice here in Djibouti town and in, uh, in other towns around the country. Jabushans with a vision for a new product uh, can use our 3D printer uh, to make that product a reality. This is another uh, asset that we have at the, at the American corner of the chamber. We have seen the immense potential of Jabushan youth. We are investing in them. Our two countries' security forces, both police and military, enjoy excellent cooperation. This mutually beneficial relationship keeps both of our great nations safe. The U.S. military has also built numerous rural clinics and schools across Djibouti. A couple of days ago, I was at Aliyun uh, to see the, the latest of these clinics that our, our U.S. military is building. Uh, and then also the recently completed schools in uh, Shabeli and Yoboki. Not only are they rebuilding the road to Shabeli right now, which is ongoing, but over half of the workforce on, the, on that project, on that road construction project, is Djiboutian. Our U.S. military veterinarians serve rural areas in Djibouti, helping communi uh, communities with their livestock. American soldiers lead English discussion groups uh, across the country, as I mentioned earlier, uh, to help Djiboutians practice their English. So thank you for joining us today for this celebration of Djiboutian American friendship. Please take this opportunity to learn about American music. We have some of our uh, American uh, musicians here who have a, a very good playset that they will uh, launch into shortly. Uh, history, uh, my wife and I just saw the, the history stand. It's, it's well worth your time. Uh, art and so much more. It's a pleasure to be with you today and introduce you to some of our favorite things. And a couple words, my wife and I, we are from Texas. Uh, we are known uh, for our distinctive uh, Western dress um, and uh, for being very informal. So um, I, I will close um, my, uh, my remarks by just saying welcome to our uh, colleagues, to our friends, um, and to uh, those uh, senior uh, Djiboutian uh, leaders who have helped uh, promote the friendship between our two countries. You know who you are. Thank <laughs> you.